All right, you guys, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Micah Folsom. We are going to just be busting through the most essential things in our power hour. So hopefully you've already gotten a post up. Hopefully you've already gotten some stories up. You've already checked into your challenge group. Like all of those are essential, of course, but like we're going to do the behind the scenes, nitty gritty IPAs. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to share a slide to help us kind of move through this. Let me share my screen. Okay, can you guys see this? If you were on mine two weeks ago, this will look familiar. You guys see this, Kim? <laughs> I can't see people when I'm like this. Yes, perfect, thank you, Ashley. <laughs> okay, so we are going to be social, you guys. So weird, I know. So before we get started, couple things to be mindful of. When you enter into your power hour, you need to be coming into this from a positive standpoint. So if you're feeling any negative vibrations right now, if you're feeling any sort of like, Ugh, like stop what you're doing, go read some PD, get into a better headspace and then get to work. Keep it fun. Keep it light. Keep it selfless. Yes. We're doing IPAs. We're doing income producing activities, which is going to bless your life. But in order to do that, we have to be selfless. So when we show up to do this expanding and connecting and inviting all of those things this isn't about us anymore okay this isn't about us this is about the gift and the blessing that we have to share with every single person that we come across so make sure that when you're going into expanding and connecting you're going into it with the idea of yes you want to find the people that you can hopefully ultimately help improve their life but at the same time, don't go into it just with the agenda that you're only looking for people to sell to. You're only looking for people to coach with. You're just connecting with humans, all right? So we just want to be a good human, connect with as many people as we can, leave their page better than when you found it. So um, when I'm thinking about connecting, this is the thing that overwhelms a lot of people and they overthink it. So really just think, okay, how can I help this person today? How can I help encourage them today? How can I um, just leave kind of a trail of positivity wherever I go? Think about that as you're scrolling through pages and as you're looking for people, all right? Um, really quickly, make sure that your billboard and your behind the scenes are matching. Make sure that you're sharing consistently. Make sure you're talking about things in your stories so that when you show up in someone's inbox and you're inviting them to a group or whatever, they're not going to be like, what are you even talking about, right? These are just things to start to think about, okay? And why is this worth it? Expanding and connecting is what we're going to spend the majority of our time on. This is what keeps your funnel filling up. It keeps everything flowing. You are never going to run out of people. You're never going to run out of um, lives to touch, people to impact if you're expanding and connecting enough. Okay. So let's get right to it. Obviously, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to skip this part this time. Okay, let's go right into expanding. So the best, there's a few ways to do this, you guys. My favorite way, I don't use hash, I don't search hashtags because I feel like there's too many things to look through. So I search specific accounts. So I find really solid target accounts and then I work from their page. So go to, and you can even do this, you can even, you can do this with friends of friends of friends. Like if you have a really close friend or whatever that is like your target market, obviously she's going to have friends that are your target market. Who's also going to have friends that are your target market. Who's also going to have friends that are your target market. So find like a few of your people that have a pretty decent following or even don't just who have, who are like your niche market and then find some accounts through there, but it doesn't take long. Like I would just go, I would go to one of your friends, I would go to one of her pictures, go to the likers of her pictures, and you can find people to, all you're doing when you're expanding is you're following them. Follow, 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 follow. And in these 10 minutes, you are going to follow at least 30 new people, okay? Don't, I don't specifically go into their page. I base this off of their profile pic and their little bio blurb. And if they look like my jam, I follow them, okay? Don't overthink this. So. 10 minutes, what time is it? 11.05, so at 11.15 we'll be done with this and then we'll go on to the connecting part. So you are not connecting at right now, you are only expanding, 
Okay. I'll meet myself and we can get to work.
Okay, we're gonna move on. Keep doing it if you haven't gotten your 30 to 50 yet. Um, but now we're gonna move on to organizing and connecting them or connecting with them. So it's super important that you guys have a way to organize. It doesn't matter how you do it, it just matters that you do it, okay? So the way that I organize is with collections. I always talk about these. It's basically just sorting them into a group that you can save um, and reference every single day when you're connecting. And so the way that I do this is I go to the way that I find the girls that I just followed, I go to following and then it says it on here. You can sort it by the date and it says sort by followed latest. So those would be all of the girls that I just followed and they're going to be in a list. And then I can then go to their page. And at that point, either unfollow them if I'm like, okay, yeah, they're not my jam or sort them into a collection so that I can continue to connect with them for like the next few weeks and forever, whatever. Okay. So it's super important that you are, that you have a system, whether that's collections, whether it's a list, whether it's streak, whatever you're doing, you need to have a flow and a system around how you're going to engage with these new people. Otherwise they just get lost in the social media galaxy. Okay. So for 30 minutes, we are connecting and sorting with the people that we just followed. And then if you get through all of those girls, then go in and connect with your likers on your posts, with your story watchers. It's super important that we are proactive with the people that are also seeing our stuff. So don't just wait for people to comment on your things and then never go to their page and love on their stuff. So 30 minutes, loving on people, be a positive influence, help people feel better, just show interest in what is going on and what they're putting out there, okay? So we will be back at 11.45, okay? So try and get as much done as you can. Don't overthink it, just say what comes to the top of your head, all right? Post any questions in the chat.
Okay, you guys, I see some questions coming up over and over. Let me let me clarify this really quickly just so you can like take advantage of these next 25 minutes. Um, yes, I follow private accounts. If they look like my type of girl, then I absolutely request to follow. And I turn my notifications on in your settings so that when they accept the request, it notifies me and it lets me know. So then at that point, I can sort them into my collection. Um, yeah, the way that I sort collections is every single month, I do it monthly so it doesn't get too ginormous. And every single month I have a coach collection and a challenger collection. If they're just a normal human, like a normal mom sharing all the things about their kids and whatever, they go into my challenger collection. And if they're already some type of influencer or help, they're already into health and wellness, or they're already, already doing some of the things that we do as coaches, then I put them in my coach collection to talk to them about the opportunity right off the bat. Um, so my challenger collection is always way bigger than my coach collection because my, I prefer to bring girls in through the challenge, then convert to coach and then whatever. But I also, but I absolutely invite to coaching right off the bat with the ones that I feel would love it. And I absolutely give every single one of my customers the opportunity to sign up to coach. Like I lead with the coach account, regardless if they're actively wanting to build or not. Okay. Um, and then how to add to collections. It's super simple. You guys, you go to a picture and on the bottom, right, there's a little bookmark, you hold it down and then a little pop-up comes up and it says save to. At that point, you're, you would either click, click the plus sign to create a collection. And that's where you'd put like March challengers, March coaches, um, or they're all going to be there. And then you would just click which one you want to add them to. Okay. So that's how you sort. And then when it's time to just connect, connect, I just go to the current collection that I'm filling and I just wham, bam, 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 bust through as many as I can and just love on all the girls. Okay. Did I miss? Any of the other ones? Oh, an example of an inspo account. An inspo account is any, any one page that has a following that's your target market. You wanna just find where your people are hanging out. So if you're really into gardening, you would find like a big gardener, you would find something who has a following that has your similar interests that you can connect with. If you're like a homeschool mom, you would find maybe like a homeschooling resource page that has a ton of other homeschool moms that you're going to have that similarity and you can connect with them over that. Right? So like think outside of the realm of just workouts and nutrition, like think about other things that you like in life, other hobbies, other interests, other just where your type of people hanging out, you're gonna find those pages and then work from those, okay? Um, with the amount of people you have, how do you love on current people and also follow up with others who you reached out to last month? I'm having such a hard time connecting with everyone. The only people I ever follow up with are people who requested info. Just because they got an invite, I don't follow up with every single person that I invite. I follow up with the girls that said, yeah, shoot me some info. Um, so at that point I have a follow-up collection, follow-up coaches, follow-up challengers. And while I'm sending my invites, if they request info, they go directly into my follow-up collection next. And then it's super simple when it's time to follow up, they're all there in the same spot. So then it's really easy. Um, Veronica, lots of new people I'm finding rarely post and don't story. Wondering if I should put these ladies in a special collection so I can unfollow if they don't follow me back since I won't see their stories or feed. I wouldn't move them. I wouldn't move them around at all. I would just, I mean, you're just, you're naturally gonna, that's the thing you guys, you're gonna go to every single person's page as much as you can throughout the weeks that you're connecting but you're gonna naturally co connect a lot more with the ones who are active on social media. So then you're gonna build that relationship better, warm up the relationship more, and it's just gonna progress the relationship quicker. The ones that don't post and you can hardly share, you'll they'll just naturally die off. Like don't waste time or energy trying to get rid of people, trying to sort them into a new, like just let it, let it go, okay? Um, yeah, Team Z is an awesome resource also. Do you feel we also need to have posts about the things we like? Say I, I find a great coffee page. Do you think I need to have posts about drinking coffee on my feed? 
Honestly, you guys, our social media is just our space to share what we are, who we are, what we love, anything, anything goes on your social media. So if you're super passionate, you, you guys should obviously have like your pillars, your things that are kind of your go-to motherhood, um, health and wellness, peanut butter. Like if you have things that are like your jam, people start to kind of know you for it. Those should be the things that you kind of filter through over and over. Um, but yeah, I like identify what you love and what you're all about and what's going to help you connect with the other people that you jive with and make sure you're putting that content out there. So you follow, add to collections, and then you invite right away. No, I don't invite until like three or four weeks later. You guys, I am, I like am a massive, some people invite right away. I don't. I like to warm them up. I like to just get to know them. And then I will just shoot them a natural, like, hey, I've loved chatting with you. Have you thought about jumping in one of my boot camps? I'd love to have you in there. Like some type of natural invite like that. But every single person that I'm proactively finding to connect with for a few weeks gets an invite, whether or not it's ever come up, whether or not we've talked five times or talked 30 times, they all get an invite. But it's not till weeks later. But that's the important part. That's why I do this every single day. It, this is the majority of my power hour, expanding and connecting. Invites take like five minutes, follow-ups take like two minutes. This is the bulk because it's really driving everything forward. So right now we are just connecting, right? <laughs> yes. Um, we're gonna invite at the end for like seven minutes, but I don't invite until I've connected with, with them for at least two to three weeks. How do I get notifications when someone follows me back? Go to, um, go to your settings, edit settings, notifications, and then it, it's in there for like follow requests or something. I don't know. It's in there. Okay. You can do this on Facebook. You guys, you can do, I mean, you can't do like the collections and stuff on Facebook, but if you work on Facebook, go to Facebook every single Monday, I send every single one of the birthday people for the week. I send them a birthday message. And so that's the main way that I connect on Facebook. Um, just cause the majority of what I do is on Instagram, but you can absolutely be connect with people on Facebook. Just be mindful. Like go through your friends list, identify the people that you want to go to their page and connect with. It's all the same stuff. It's just how you do it. I find that even after I love on people, when the invitation happens, I have many people that say, Oh, this is why you became my friend. It's, it's tough. Cause it's tough sometimes to build a relationship first. Any thought? I actually never have that happen. <laughs> um, maybe it's how you're inviting. Maybe it's the types of connections. Maybe it's who you're connecting with. Like really make sure that you're identifying who your niche market is, who you're going to connect with, who you're going to relate to, who is going to relate to the stories you're putting out there, who is going to benefit from seeing your posts and your stories. Make sure you're finding those types of people. Um, and then just, I mean, genuinely, don't just surface level connect, like genuinely be interested in their stories, in their posts. And then when you invite them, just make sure it's like, I don't know how to, I don't, I've never had that happen. So I'm not really sure. Yeah. Shay, best way to unfollow people. I have 2640 that I follow that follow me and you follow 4,000. I would just make it part of your power hour. Maybe it's like five minutes a day. You go through your entire, all the people that you're following and just weed out people. I honestly, I'm following 5,600 people and I have a really hard time unfollowing people because I'm like, dang it. They all look good. They all look good. They all look good. But then I'll randomly see someone that I'm like, oh yeah, they're not really my jam and I'll unfollow. I also make it a point when I'm scrolling my feed on Instagram, your feed, you guys is an interest list. That is a prospecting list. If they are not someone who you could potentially work with or just someone who you are super inspired by, don't follow them. They're wasting space on your storefront. Okay. So when you're scrolling your feed, you're either connecting with those people or you're unfollowing them either or. And if they, and if you can't like go to their page and then decide if they're, if they're a solid person to be there or not. So that's a lot of the right way that I un unfollow is just by mindfully doing it every single day when I'm like scrolling my feed and stuff. Is there a max number of followers? Yes. Yeah, 7,500. Oh wait, that makes you not follow. 
Some of, oh, no, no, no. Some of the people I just followed have 38,000. Um, no, there's not really a max number. I don't, I don't target big accounts. I'm like, oh, they're doing their own thing. They're like, whatever. But at the same time, if I see a girl that's just like a mom that has an awesome following, I'll absolutely still follow her. But those would probably be better like inspo accounts to work from their pages. So just be mindful of that. Um, yeah, definitely bless and release. <laughs> definitely Austin. Okay, you guys, I'm muting myself. Stop talking to me so I can work. No more questions. Just kidding. Post them in the chat and we'll do it at the end. <laughs> what are we doing? We're connecting with people. Connecting, 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 connecting till 
Okay, guys, we're going to go on just so we can make sure that we get through the last two parts. This is just your little reminder, connect without an agenda, invite like you have something that will change their life. So we've been connecting hopefully for the past 25 minutes. Now we're going to go invite 10 people. These are not the people that you were just connecting with. These I would recommend be people that you've either previously been connecting with already or prime real estate for your invites are your story watchers and the people who are already familiar with what you're doing. So go through your story watchers. If there's anyone in there that you haven't um, invited to a group yet, they already know what's going on. If you are sharing about it in your stories, do you see how this all goes hand in hand? If you're not talking about your group, if you're not sharing what it looks like to do your workouts or to work with you or all of the things, if they, if they can't get a, a decent idea about what it would be like to work with you, then sending them an invite to your boot camp or whatever, they're going to be like, well, what even is that? I don't even know what you're talking about. But if you're talking about it every single day or not every day, but like sharing snippets of it each day, little bits, then when you say, Hey, I saw you've been checking out my stories. Have you ever thought about jumping in with me? I'd love to have you in there or like in my boot camp. They're going to be like, Oh, actually, no, I haven't thought about it. Tell me more about it or whatever. Okay. So it's super important that you don't just do this and you don't just post. You have to do both parts of the equation in order to really see momentum go, okay? So we've got, how much time did I allocate for this? Seven minutes, <laughs> seven minutes to go invite 10 people. Don't overthink it. Come up with your, your invite, how, what, however you wanna talk, how you want it to flow, whatever you're inviting to. And then just like switch up the name, tweak it just a teeny bit, but basically it's going to be a similar invite to all 10 people. Okay. So I'll mute and then go send your invite.
Okay. I didn't really look at the clock, so I don't know if that was seven minutes, but for the last five minutes, we're going to do follow up. So these would be anyone who's requested info, but hasn't gotten started yet. Anyone who has maybe a share cart out, but hasn't completed it. Um, follow ups, follow ups, follow ups. That's like where most of my challengers and new coaches are coming from. It's after multiple, multiple, multiple follow ups and not being annoying, but just really leading with, Hey, you shared you had some of these goals. You shared you needed some help. That's what I'm here for. I didn't want to forget about you. Is this still something you want to do? Like you, if you really do care to help people, you're going to want to check in with them. You're going to want to follow up because we all know we're our own hardest critic. We're our own. We stand in our own way over more than anyone else. So we need someone in our corner that's saying, Hey, I got you girl. Is this still something you, something you want to do? Cause I'm here for it. Like, let's do this. So make sure we're spending some time following up five minutes and then we'll leave the last couple minutes for any last questions.
Okay, you guys, we'll leave the rest of the time open for questions. So let me go see if there's things, if there's anything that is urgent, post it again, because lots of stuff gets answered in the chat thread before I come back around and we don't need to like rehash all of those things. Um, let me see. Awesome. No, so Courtney said, I always forget to check my stories and my story watchers. Is there any way to go back after 24 hours? So you can go through your archive, but I don't know that you can see. Does anyone know for sure? I haven't, I never do that. I just, I just go to what's up. Um, so if I go to my archive, I'm just going to try this for all of us. <laughs> Let's see. I'm sure someone knows the actual answer, but I'll go to my archive and I'll see something past 24 hours. Yeah, you can still, no, you can't. <laughs> it's, it tells you the amount, but it doesn't tell you the people. It says viewer lists aren't available after 24 hours. So just, but you guys, if this is part of your power hour and you're doing a power hour every, every day, that means every single day you should like be on that. So also something that you could do is if you have one day where you like have story views up for whatever reason, maybe you geotag something, maybe it's just a hot topic that, I don't know. If you have a higher number of views one day, make, you can screenshot your story watchers and then like have those lists to work from the next couple days in your power hour. I've done that multiple times where I'm like, I don't know. I just don't want to deal with like going through the list. So I'll just screenshot and have like a bulk amount of people to then work with the next few days. Okay. So lately I have huge accounts vote. Yeah. Shay, she said huge accounts are voting on her stories. People haven't even connected. I sometimes have to block them. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. It's like a tactic. I'll get like people coming through and filling out my polls all the time. You just weed through them. Just weed through them. Just skip them. Um, awesome. Opening a share cart. Oh, JK. <laughs> Opening share cards, seeing who hasn't pulled the trigger. Perfect. Yes. You guys, if you don't do that frequently, like every few days, go into your share cards, the viewed and the sent. And if there's unopened ones and people who haven't checked out, make sure you're shooting them a message like, hey, girl, I haven't seen your order come through yet. Did you have any troubles? What can I help with? I want to get you going. Um, Because those are the people that like, they're ready. They just need a little gentle nudge, you know? Um, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. You have to make it a highlight, then delete the highlight, I believe. Oh, Ashley knows a loophole. <laughs> okay. So let's say you invited someone and they said they wanted to think about it or talk to their husband. How long do you usually wait to follow up with them? Like a day? I would probably follow up with them the next day and just be like, Hey girl, I just want to check in with you to have a chat with your hubby. What do you think? Um, you don't want to wait too long. Otherwise it like totally gets off their radar. Right. And then they're like, Oh, what, what are you even talking about? I can't remember who you are. Like you got to stay on it. Stay on top of the ball. I've made that part of my night routine. Yes consistency is key. Do you hide hashtags on your stories, locations, each one? Yeah, I do. I generally just swipe them off the screen. If I don't usually hashtag on stories every once in a while, I will just for fun. But if I geotag or anything, I'll usually swipe it off the screen. Um, unless I like want people to see where it's at for whatever reason. Yes. Oh, Ashley said, I lied. Highlights don't work. <laughs> Good. A for effort. Thanks for trying. Any suggestion on what to share about the business in your stories in a way that it's about them? I struggle with this as I think, why would they care? Here's my thoughts. If someone comes to my page, I want them to personally see their story in mine. I want them to see, oh, I'm a crazy mom. She's a crazy mom. What is she doing? What is this? How is she doing it? How does she make it work? She's at preschool drop off. She's going through her challenge group. What? Like I want to just share enough that they're like, it sparks their interest. 
And you guys have to remember, you're going to repel the people that it's not for, and you're going to draw the people in that it is for. So if you're just vanilla and you're sharing stories that you're like just really safe and whatever, you're never going to stand out. You're never going to attract the right people. And the people who aren't your people are, they might stick around because they don't even know what the crap you're about anyways. So you want to get like sure on your messaging. You want to get like, I believe that this business will change every freaking person's life that does it. So you better believe it is like a huge part of my life. It's a huge part of my day. It's a huge part of my habits, how I am, what I think about, what I'm passionate about. So I'm sharing little bits and little teeny things of pieces every day, whether it's my morning routine. I wouldn't have my morning routine if I wasn't a dang coach. Let's be real. Whether it's my workout, whether it's chatting with my favorite coaches and like doing mentor calls and having that community of women, whether it's scrolling through my challenge group and celebrating my girls that are checking in and showing up, whether it's um, letting people know that I'm in the preschool dropout and I am busting my business out and that's what it looks like for me. Like in the cracks of motherhood, I am building our freaking dreams, okay? Anyone can do that. And you're going to repel the people that are like, I don't even want to do that. That's so weird. I like my nine to five. Cool. This isn't for them. Maybe that's fine. But the people who are like, Hey, I want a community of women. I want something that I can be passionate about. I want something that makes me wake up early and actually have good habits and, and not feel like a psychopath in the morning. You know what I mean? You're going to start to drop those types of people in. So that's how you just start to weave it in. I basically treat my stories like a behind the scenes of my life, motherhood, the business, my own personal journey, tips and tricks that I'm finding that work for me, value, motivation, the craziness, like all of the things they find a way in my stories. Okay. Mostly Finley because everyone loves her. Um, <laughs> perfect. 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 Do you invite each day or do bigger amounts every few days? I've, um, I usually invite quite like around 20 to 30 on the weeks that I'm filling a challenge group. So I have like two weeks that I'm inviting to a challenge group. And then I take a week where I'm like massively connecting and expanding and breadcrumbing coaching. And then I have a week where I'm hardcore recruiting and inviting to coaching. So that's kind of how my flow looks. So almost every single day I'm inviting in some capacity, but there are some days that I'm not. How many follow-up collections do you have? One. I have one follow-up challenger collection, one follow-up coach collection. And once they sign up, they get out of the collection. Otherwise they stay in there and I continue to follow up every single month until they say no, never in a million years or let's do it, girlfriend. Okay. Okay, you guys, we got to wrap it up. We're over time. Is there anything that's super, super, I always say preschool drop out. Always. I mean preschool drop off. Don't drop out of preschool, okay? <laughs> Do you remove them from a collection? I don't ever remove anyone from collections. I just leave them there. I just leave them there. Yep. Okay. All right, we're good. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you guys got a ton done. You guys, this business is not hard. It doesn't take long, but it takes like focused, intentional action. So just be super diligent. You'll hone in on these skills. You'll get better at them. You'll get faster. You'll get more efficient. You'll have more fun doing them. Find the joy, make it about them. Go change some lives. All right, okay, see you in two weeks. Bye you guys.